Welcome to the 24 tags of Christmas 2020. I'm going to do color pop tags for this first set using the Avery L set called Tiny Tree. It has little critters who are decorating a tree and ornaments you can put on it. I'm going to simplify the stamping a lot because these are tags. People throw away tags and I don't like to spend a whole ton of time on them because they don't keep them. But this idea I thought would be really fun for those who have specific kind of wrapping paper in maybe bright colors or something that you want to make coordinating tags, but you don't want to spend hours on creating tags for them, but you want them to be nice and to coordinate and look good, but not take up all of your time. Well, this is a great way to do it. Just get whatever the image is you're going to stamp. You can get this set and make little scenes out of each one of them with one of the critters bringing an ornament over the, to the tree and then the tree itself and then just fill in around it. Now there is some fussiness to coloring around it, absolutely. So don't feel like this is going to happen instantaneously <laughs> depending on the image that you've got and with a little tree like this it's going to take a little bit of time. However, it's still going to be a lot less time than coloring the whole image because I'm just going to do the backgrounds for each one of these in coordinating colors that are going to go with whatever the paper is. Now I am giving these away so I don't have paper that these are coordinating with but I'm making six videos in a row all week long. If you've been a subscriber of my channel or to my blog for a number of years I have done this many many years now and I give away these tags and what I do is pick winners from both YouTube comments and my blog comments. So if you do both, you can have a double chance to win. And if you do it every day, you get two chances to win every day. And you just get a little piece of art from me in the mail. So I am not doing these because of a particular wrapping paper, but you could certainly coordinate these with whatever you choose for the year. Now, I don't know how many of you guys do what I like to do, which is pick one wrapping paper for all of my gifts and if I'm opening my gifts with the whole family, then I always know when my gift comes up. I always remember which one is mine because I recognize my paper. It's always the same. Now, unfortunately, this coming year is going to be a little weird. We're going to not be opening gifts together. I think a lot of people are going to have some challenges trying to get together, trying to travel and that sort of thing. So do yourself, do me a favor and be safe out there. Don't put yourself at risk. Open your presents on Zoom. It's totally fine to do that on Zoom. I know it's not nearly as much fun as being together in person, but I want you to be safe. I want you to continue making art with me, and if you go get sick, then that may not happen, so I want you to be safe. So there's my little lecture for the day, <laughs> and I'm just going to finish up coloring these with four different colors. And if your wrapping paper is some kind of rainbow thing, you can coordinate a series of tags and you can leave a little empty space. You can write a name on it. You can write a name on the back of it, whatever you want to do for your designs. The little tags that, I'm, that I've cut these out of are from Ellen Hudson. She's got this one die. It's a single die. It was from last year. And you cut out this one die and it cuts four tags at once. God, I am totally into whatever will make things lickety split when we've got something like tags where you need a whole bunch of them for all your gifts. And it's a great way to cut them all out at the same time. So that's great. In order to add something a little more special to these, I decided I was going to add snow to them. You could certainly get away without adding the snow to them. And they're still really cute tags. They'd be great to have the names written up there in the flood of color, that little pop of color, but you can also practice your snow. And for each one of these, I'm going to do different kinds of snow. You can do lots of little dots that just fill the whole space and it looks like very fine snow coming down. I use the Uniball Signo white gel pen and I know for some people they say it doesn't work. Try not pushing really hard with the pen because that ink that's inside the pen needs to roll around that ball at the end. That's why it's called a roller ball pen. It's got a little thing. It rolls around and you need to allow that to move so that the ink will flow out of the pen. You can also start it by warming it up on your finger if you need to. I don't find that I need to do that very often. Maybe it's just 
I am very lucky with my pens. I don't really know. But I have actually watched physically when students have tried, when I used to teach and travel back in the pre-COVID days when I could see people using their white pens. And they would be smashing it to try to get more ink out of it. And that's what I'm going to recommend. Don't smash necessarily. But you can also make the same kind of tiny dots, but less of them. You can do big snowflakes, like huge honking snowflakes, like I'm doing on this yellow one. And on yellow, you're going to need a bigger snowflake. The tiny ones are not going to show up as much. And then on the pink one, I'm going to do both big snowflakes mixed in with little snowflakes. So tags are a really great way to practice little things like which kind of snow do you like the best? Do you want to make some that's big snowflakes, little snowflakes, sometimes making snowflakes like confetti, different shapes for the big ones is kind of fun because it makes them look like they're kind of floating down from the sky, that sort of thing. You can do the same kind of a thing for cards. So you can do tags, you can do cards, you can do all kinds of things with this very same color pop technique. Stamp your image and then color the whole background on the card and add whatever snow you want. I even added a little yellow star just to add one little more pop of color. So there is my first set of tags. Four of them will be given away. So make sure you leave a comment in the doobly-doo as well as over on the blog. And I'll see you again tomorrow with more tags. All right, bye-bye.